you're here because you want to make your footage look cinematic. You've probably heard lots of creators talking about these things called LUTs, but you don't know how to get involved or where to start. My name is Gav and over on this channel we help you become a better creator with short to the point, no waffle or filler videos uploaded weekly. LUTs are a quick way to make your colour grade look professional and today I'll not only show you how to install some LUTs but also how to apply them and to make things easier I'm going to drop a couple of links in the description to help you get moving quickly. And also, if you were one of the people that subbed recently and let me know in the comments, please stay tuned to the end and I'll thank you at the end personally. Let's get to it. Right, we're in Final Cut. And this is about my take 668 because my words have not been coming out. So I've had an espresso. So I'm going to try and slow it down a little bit because caffeine's kicked in. We've got your project, well, we've got my project in the timeline. You've got yours. This one, for the purposes of this demo, is a job I shot last year for Lipsy London. I was just the cameraman on this job, so these are just some clips that I've put together. Uh, these were shot straight in camera using a colour profile called S-Log2. Now, that might not mean anything to you if you've maybe not shot anything on a pro camera, but a lot of the professionals will shoot in a flatter colour profile. You can see this one here is quite washed out. Basically, that flatter colour profile allows us to have more scope with the colour grade and your LUTs will look better. But if you haven't, this lesson will still be relevant, so don't worry about it. But before we go to do the LUTs, we need to download something called an adjustment layer. Now, I've left uh, two links in the description. One is a link to the adjustment layer and one is to a free LUT to get you started. So if you're new here, my whole goal with doing this channel is to help people become a better video creator, whether it's becoming uh, better at your home movies or if you want to earn a bit of side hustle cash or like me, quit the day job you hate and work for yourself and be a full time freelance videographer, then this is the place for you. I try to offer as much value as I can in short videos like this one, but also going to be going into things like gear reviews. Uh, uh, you know like business advice and things like that so be sure to sub it'd be great if you uh, joined our little community here over on YouTube and let's get back to it we'll just go over to get the adjustment layer show you how to install that and then how to install the LUT and then to apply it so over in my notes I have the link that I've given you in the description so what we want to be doing is just giving that a click that will then directly download the adjustment layer that you need. As you can see, that's in here. For some reason, it's put a folder within a folder. So let's just select this one here. And we want to be copying that over to our motion templates folder. What I'll do is open another window here. I'll just resize that and put that underneath. We want to take that and open the motion templates folder. Now this will be on your home folder within Finder. You can see the little house icon here and my name Gavin Kerr. And then we want to go over to the movies folder. So double click that, motion templates. And then we want to be adding this to the titles. Now, so once I open that, as you can see here, I've already got an adjustment layer in, so I'm not going to drag that in and overwrite it. You just want to be dragging that in, or you can do Command C to copy and then select the other finder and do Command V to paste. Once we've done that, we can close them off and then open up Final Cut Pro again. So to get to your adjustment layer, you want to be going over to the top left on your screen and hitting the titles tab here. And then my adjustment layers uh, may be different to yours because I've got an older set. You want to be just searching for adjustment layer. I've got a couple in here already, but the ones I use, I have three different lengths. So I always use the long. Um, if you just type adjustment layer, yours will come up. And then simply, you're going to be dragging this like it was a title on top of your footage. I'll then resize to fit. And then select. The next step is adding the custom LUT. However, before we do that, we need to go over to the effects tab on the far right here and adding this effect. It's literally called custom LUT. Now, mine appears at the top because I've made it my default effect. What you'll have to do is go down to the search bar, type custom and it will come up there. To make yours the custom default uh, effect, if you want to, you don't have to, I just do it because obviously it's one of the most used ones for me. Just right click 
and make default video effect. Every time you go over to your video and effects, it'll always be at the top. Now, if this is your first time installing LUT, which I'm guessing if you're watching this video, it probably is, you won't have any LUTs in this drop down menu. First thing we want to do is obviously get a LUT. And if you go back to the description, I've left you a little link there to a free LUT. I'll open up my notes and we go over to Ground Control, this website, and now I've got a selection of LUTs. So today, because the footage I shot was an S-Log2, I'm going to download this LUT. We've got a few free LUTs here. Um, some of these are based towards certain color profiles, like certain cameras like Sony have S-Log. Uh, there's things like the, uh, I think it's Canon cameras have D-Log. I might be wrong there because I haven't used a Canon in a while. I'm a sh so Sony shooter. That was a uh, tongue twister. For this, I'm gonna download S-Log2. Um, we'll just click on that. Because they're free, they basically, all they'll do is ask for your email. They don't take any fees. As you can see, it says zero. So you add it to cart, check out, and then I'm just going to blur these out as this is my personal information. Continue to payment, complete order, and that's it. And it'll see download your files. And then we have the ground control look in there. So the next thing we want to do is go back into Final Cut and come up to the custom LUT effect over on the right hand side. Now, as I said before, there's nothing showing yet. What we want to do is choose a custom LUT. This is essentially uploading it. So if we go to ground control LUT and it's these .cube files here, this .cube file, I'm going to open that and then that's added it into this clip. Now this is a little intense, she's very yellow skinned there. So we do have an intensity slider here, it's called mix. So it's basically, that's it, all the way over to the left is uh, is obviously no effect. And then we can just drag that in till it looks natural. If we can toggle off the uh, look here, you can see the difference there. Let's play it without the LUT and then part way in, I'll add the LUT. So we've gone through showing you how to get the adjustment layer and installing that, then downloading the LUT, installing the LUT, and then applying them. So also, I've been very grateful for the extra subscribers recently, so thanks to them, but only one person actually commented below, and I just wanna give a shout out to, I'm sorry if I'm gonna butcher this name, but it's Shoaib, Shoaib, Shoaib Iqbal. Shoaib Iqbal. Uh, appreciate the sub, and as I said before, if you sub, let me know in the comments and I'll give you a shout out in a future video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.